Hi, my fellow iOS developers. Have you ever tried to symbolicate an iOS crash report by yourselves? You can do this with tools like ATOS or scripts like Symbolicate Crash or like LLDB, two of them. And if so, have you ever struggled to symbolicate stack frames related to iOS frameworks like SwiftUI? The challenges are here that you have to have locally the right iOS system symbols matching the CPU architecture of the device which, on which the crash occurred and also with the matching OS version. So if you have, great, because then you just need to connect your physical iOS device with Xcode and then the symbols will be downloaded automatically to your library Xcode iOS device support folder. But now you probably watch this video and you don't have this right physical device. So you can manually try to get the iOS system symbols by downloading the iOS firmware for a specific device and iOS version, like in this case here for iPhone 12.8. And I can see that the latest firmware is with iOS version 13.6. And I can also see older firmwares. But you can automate this process because downloading the firmware is possible via a REST API. So what I did, I provided a shell script which takes care of downloading the firmware uh, and then extracting and running potential other scripts to have then the symbols uh, put onto your Mac device. Uh, this is an example how you run this uh, shell script. You have to specify the uh, device model, the iOS version you want to uh, uh, you want to download for latest, or you can specify thirteen point five for example. Uh, and you still have to specify the CPU architecture. So in this case, we know that iPhone 12, uh, 8 is running on ARM 64E. So hopefully with this tool, uh, it's easy for you, like in a CI/CD infrastructure, to download the um, iOS system symbols and make them available. FYI, there is a brave warrior in the open source community who is trying to uh, do that for you. And he's trying to publish um, all of these uh, system symbols and make them available for you via his uh, Google Drive. But it currently lags a little bit behind. So it's good that you know the manual process as well as having some tools to automate that so please check out this github repository and uh, leave a comment if that was helpful thanks and good luck